crutch combo. Okay. It's on page 86. So, yeah. um, here's a, this is, um, it's sort of like two crutches. Okay. Except one of them has, um, uh, that, um, metal detector on, um, on one of them. So it's, so one of them sort of like a metal detector and the other one's a normal one and you can balance on them. Okay. So, like, if, if you're, how, if you have, like, if you broke your leg or ankle, um, it's, it's okay, and, and I know, you know, you can't run, or at, at least you can still find riches on the beach, so. So that would be the thing. Yeah, and then on page 87, the Snex cups. So, when you're about to sneeze, like, in a really good, in a meeting or something. Yes. The Snex cup is sort of like um, a cup that goes around your, arm, um, your wrist. Yeah, it's fifty, it's 50 foot C next um, roll of uh, next that fits on your wrist. So if you sneeze, you just sneeze onto the cuff, and then you don't spread any germs, and you get all the mess. Okay, you know what? I think I need to buy these for the classroom because the number of times that people ask to go get a Kleenex, imagine if it was just on your wrist. I would never have to let anyone stand up to go get a Kleenex. This could be this could be brilliant. I'm not going to have my spot I, on my I, I, That's right. I, I, no, I know. But this could also be good for, like, a kindergarten classroom. Because think of the number of times that they're sneezing and their noses are running and then people get sick. Well, now they'd be able to, like, wipe their noses all the time. Except they already use their wrist. Yes, but they use their wrist, but now they'd actually have, like, tissue on their wrist instead of just their sleeve. Yes. So what, what it does is, if you're a really, really lazy person and it <coughs> touches the couch to it and you have, like, you can place any drink here, like popcorn or something, and you have a lamp over your head and there's a fridge connected to it, it's usually like a work machine uh, where you, or the phone conversation where you attach the, a couch and then there's a fridge on the top with cans of soda and there's a lamp and it's on page 89. So you can find it. So the other one also is is wall walkers. And if you're like a kid who likes to have a lot of fun, yes, uh, get one of these shoes. Like so, what these shoes allow you to do? They allow you to walk on the wall, kind of like Spider Man. <laughs> oh, this sounds great. <laughs> But like, you need to get it's on page one fifteen. Yes. Or just get, or just get sucked in. You could. It's on page one fifteen. Yes. So if if you were a kid who likes to have a lot of fun, I recommend you to get this. Okay, I have a question, because I know that there's lots of students down in kindergarten that love, like, pretending like they're Spider-Man. Would you recommend buying this invention for their class? Why or why not? Well, I get it for my brother because he's obsessed with it a lot. Okay. I would say, I would say don't get this unless you get a mat underneath them. Why? Because if, if they put, they go to put their foot on wrong, they could fall. Yes. And once three, so it, like, because you're, cause you, let me, one such and cup isn't going to keep you up. Right. So either get a mat underneath you or get toilet plungers for their hands. Okay. I would get it for my brother because I don't like him to back in. I just want to see a ball you for Oh, that sounds a little bit scary. What were you going to say? I will. I oh, would. I would. Um, for. I would get this, like, if, like, for mountain climbing training. Yes. Yeah. yeah so, like, you, you just have, like, um, a really tall. Um, a uh, piece of glass, so, and then there'd be like a crash mat underneath. So, so is it basically just something you could clip your shoe yeah. into? Or, yeah. or yeah, you just slip your foot into it. And then, yeah. and, and it also you can slip your shoe onto it too. It comes in all sizes. Yeah. Okay, now I have a question. Let's pretend that I was to go to Mr. Clemens or Miss Bishop and ask them about this invention and buying it. What do you think they would say about the idea of buying this for our school? 
What do you think? I think they're going to say no because it's too dangerous, kind of. But there okay. will be crash mats. But, but, but if the, they said yes, then yes. we'd have to put... Crash mats. All around the school. We yeah. could put yeah. crash mats. So I only suggest doing it in the gym because it's the only yeah. place we have a crash mat. Right. Okay. And then though, we'll, if yeah. we get that, we'll, probably, we'll have to get another crash mat. You think uh -huh. so? And hold on, we're going to let Jack go. Yes? So, but... If if we ask them about the Sleenex cup, that would be a, a definitely a big yes. Why? Because that would. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Um, Jack, why do you think it'll be a big yes? Because um, this is like flu season now. Yes. And so you don't want to spread germs around, and no one wants to get the flu. Yes. Um, so, you just sneeze into your arm and no germs are going to spread and you can clean the mess up easily. So you think this is a definite yes? Yeah. So what I have to do is...